In this video, we're going to look at how to solve equations with fractions. To do well in this topic, you need to already be able to solve one and two step equations. If you want to revisit these topics first, I'll put links to my videos on them in this video's description. We're going to start with this equation here. On the left hand side of this equation, we have a fraction. On the bottom of that fraction, we have the number 4. This means we're doing 3x divide by 4. Since the inverse of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4, the first step here is to multiply by 4 on both sides. If we multiply by 4 on the left hand side, this will cancel out the divide 4 that's already there. So on the left hand side, we'll just have 3x. On the right hand side, we need to multiply the 6 by 4, and 6 times 4 is 24. We're now left with a one step equation that you should already know how to solve. Here we have 3x, which means 3 multiplied by x. The opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. So we divide by 3 on both sides. On the left hand side, this gives us 1x, and on the right hand side, 24 divided by 3 is 8. So the solution to this equation is x is equal to 8. Now let's try a second example. So for this question here, on the bottom of the fraction, we have a 5. This means 2x divide by 5. The inverse of dividing by 5 is multiplying by 5, so we multiply by 5 on both sides. On the left hand side, this will leave us with 2x. And on the right hand side, 6 times 5 is 30. Then we have 2 here, so we're going to divide by 2. 2x divided by 2 is 1x, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. Now let's have a look at another type of equation that's slightly different in structure. So we're going to solve this equation here. This equation does indeed have a fraction, but we've got this plus 3 here that we need to deal with first. To deal with this plus 3, we would subtract 3 from both sides. If we subtract 3 on the left hand side, the plus 3 will cancel. So we've just got x over 5. On the right hand side, 7 subtract 3 is 4. So we have a one step equation to solve again. This one has divide by 5. The inverse of dividing by 5 is multiplying by 5. So we do that on both sides. On the left hand side, the 5s will cancel. So we just have x. And on the right hand side, 4 multiplied by 5 is 20. So x is equal to 20. Let's try another one that's similar to this one. Now in this equation, it subtracts 6. The inverse of subtracting 6 is adding 6. So we'll do that to both sides. On the left hand side, when we add 6, this will cancel the subtract 6. So we've just got x over 4. On the right hand side, we do 2, add 6, which is 8. Then because we have this divide by 4 here, we would multiply by 4 on both sides. On the left hand side, the 4s will cancel. So we just have x. And on the right hand side, 8 multiplied by 4 is 32. Now let's try another type. So you sometimes get equations that look like this. Now this question actually looks really similar to one we solved a moment ago. That was this one here. You can see that both of the questions have a plus 3. They're both divided by 5. And the right hand side for both of them is 7. But the structure is ever so slightly different. For this new equation, the fraction line covers the x and the plus 3. Whereas on the original one, the fraction line just covers the x. And then we add 3 afterwards. This is going to affect the way we solve this equation. On the previous one that we already solved, the first thing we did was subtracted 3 from both sides, and then we multiplied by 5. On our new question, we're going to do these in the opposite order. We're going to start by multiplying by 5, and then subtracting 3. So, we'll start by multiplying by 5 on both sides. This will cancel the 5 on the left hand side, so we're just left with x plus 3. And on the right hand side, 7 multiplied by 5 is 35. Now we can subtract 3 from both sides, this will cancel the plus 3 on the left hand side, so we just have x, and 35 subtract 3 is 32. So the solution to this one is x is equal to 32. Let's try a couple more questions and pay particular attention to the order in which we do these operations. For this equation here, the first thing we're going to look at is this subtract 2. The inverse of that is plus 2, so we'll plus 2 to both sides. On the left hand side, this will cancel the subtract 2, so we just have x over 8. And on the right hand side, we have 3 plus 2, which is 5. Now, because we have this divide 8 here, we're going to multiply by 8 on both sides. This will cancel the 8 from the left, so we just have x. And on the right, 5 multiplied by 8 is 40. So the solution is x is equal to 40. Now we'll try another equation. So this one looks very, very similar. It's the same numbers, but that fraction line covers the x and the subtract 2. So for this one, we need to look at this divide 8 first. We'll do this by multiplying by 8 on both sides. This will cancel the 8 from the left, so we just have x subtract 2. And on the right hand side, 3 multiplied by 8 is 24. Now we can look at this subtract 2 here, 
and we'll add 2 to both sides. On the left hand side when we add 2, this will cancel the subtract 2, so we're just left with x. And on the right hand side 24 plus 2 is 26. And now we'll look at two more final equations with fractions. These ones are slightly harder because we have a number in front of the x. We'll start with the one on the left. We need to deal with this divide by 10 by multiplying by 10 on both sides. If we do this on the left hand side the 10s will cancel so we just have 2x plus 6. And on the right hand side 2 multiplied by 10 is 20. Then we can look at this plus 6 here and we'll subtract 6 from both sides. On the left hand side the 6s will cancel so we have 2x and on the right hand side 20 subtract 6 is 14. Then finally we have 2 here and that's 2 multiplied by x so we can divide both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2 is 1x and 14 divided by 2 is 7. So you can see this one took an extra step because we had that number in front of the x. And for this final equation over here we're going to start with this subtract 8. We'll add 8 to both sides. On the left hand side the 8s will cancel so we just have that fraction 5x over 4. And on the right hand side 7 plus 8 is 15. Then we can deal with this divide by 4 by multiplying by 4 on both sides. This will cancel the 4s on the left so we just have 5x. And on the right 15 multiplied by 4 is 60. And the final step we deal with this 5 here which is 5 multiplied by x by dividing by 5 on both sides. On the left 5x divided by 5 is 1x. And on the right 60 divided by 5 is 12. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and why not try the exam questions in this video's description.